As the night grows quiet and the world slows down, let yourself be carried away by the soft lull of a story. Tonight, we journey to a place where the ordinary and the extraordinary meet, where a child and a ghost share a bond like no other. In this tale, the ghostly guardian, a gentle spirit watches over a young child, protecting them from the shadows that linger in the dark. Let your worries fade, your breathing calm, and allow the magic of the night to embrace you. Now, close your eyes and let us begin. In the heart of a small, mist-cloaked town, there stood an old Victorian house, its creaking timbers and peeling paint a testament to years gone by. The house had always been peculiar, but as the days grew shorter and the air colder, something sinister seemed to awaken within its walls. The townsfolk whispered about the house, but none dared approach after dusk, save for the young Eliza who called it home. Eliza was a bright-eyed child of ten, with a cascade of curly auburn hair and an insatiable curiosity that often led her into the house's most shadowed corners. She had always felt a strange connection to the house, as if it were a living, breathing entity, with secrets hidden just beyond the veil of the ordinary. As Halloween approached, the atmosphere in the house grew heavy with a palpable sense of dread. Eliza first noticed the changes one crisp autumn evening. The sun had dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that seemed to writhe and twist with a life of their own. She was in her room, diligently working on her homework, when the temperature plummeted and a chill seeped into her bones. The lights flickered erratically, casting eerie patterns on the walls. Eliza's heart pounded as she looked around, trying to rationalize the strange phenomena. Her parents, ever pragmatic, dismissed her concerns as mere childhood fancy. It's just an old house, Eliza. Nothing more, her father had said, with a reassuring smile. But Eliza knew better. There was something lurking in the shadows, something that whispered her name in the dead of night. It started with subtle sounds, a creak of the floorboards when no one was walking a faint whisper that seemed to drift through the air like a forgotten memory. Then, as the days wore on, the occurrences grew more pronounced. Objects moved on their own. Cold spots appeared without warning, and shadows seemed to flicker with malevolent intent. One night, as the wind howled outside and the house settled into an uneasy silence, Eliza heard a soft, almost imperceptible voice. Eliza. It was a whisper, barely more than a breath, yet it sent shivers down her spine. She looked around her dimly lit room, but saw nothing. Who's there? She called out, her voice trembling. The only response 
was the rustling of the curtains and the creak of the old wooden floor. Determined to uncover the source of the voice, Eliza grabbed a flashlight and crept down the hall. The beam of light cut through the darkness, illuminating dust motes that danced in the air like tiny spirits. As she descended the staircase, each step groaned under her weight. The air grew colder with each passing moment, and the sense of being watched intensified. She reached the bottom of the stairs and turned towards the parlor, where the shadows seemed darkest. Her flashlight flickered and died, plunging her into pitch blackness. Fear gripped her heart, but she took a deep breath and pressed on, guided by a strange sense of determination. The whisper came again, clearer this time and closer. Eliza. She followed the voice to the parlor, where the fireplace stood cold and empty. As she stepped into the room, the temperature dropped even further, and her breath came out in frosty puffs. In the corner of the room, near an old, dust-covered mirror, she saw it, a faint, glowing figure, barely visible in the dim light. Eliza gasped and took a step back. The figure was translucent, its features indistinct, but its presence was undeniable. It seemed to shimmer with an ethereal light, casting a soft glow on the walls. Who are you? Eliza asked, her voice barely a whisper. The figure floated closer its form becoming more defined. It was the shape of a young man, his eyes kind but sad. I am Gabriel, he said, his voice gentle, yet echoing with an otherworldly timber. And I have come to protect you. Eliza's days grew increasingly lonely as the haunting continued, her parents, engrossed in their work and oblivious to the supernatural occurrences, brushed off her concerns. It's just your imagination, sweetheart, her mother would say, ruffling her hair and sending her off to bed with a perfunctory kiss. At school, Eliza found little solace. Her classmates were absorbed in their own lives, and her tales of ghostly encounters only served to alienate her further. She spent recesses alone, wandering the edges of the playground, her thoughts consumed by the mysterious figure she had met. Gabriel had become a constant presence in her life, his ethereal form flickering into view at the most unexpected moments. He watched over her, offering words of comfort and caution, but their interactions were limited by the thin veil that separated the living from the dead. One evening, as Eliza sat by the window, watching the leaves swirl in the autumn wind, she heard Gabriel's familiar whisper. Eliza, are you there? She turned, her heart lifting at the sound of his voice. Yes, Gabriel, I'm here. The ghostly figure materialized beside her, his translucent form glowing softly in the dim light. 
You seem troubled, he observed, his eyes filled with a gentle concern. Eliza sighed, resting her chin on her hands. I just feel so alone. No one believes me, and I can't talk to anyone about what's happening. Gabriel's expression softened. I understand your loneliness, Eliza. I, too, know what it means to be isolated, to be unseen and unheard. She looked at him. Curiosity peaked. What happened to you, Gabriel? Why are you here? Gabriel hesitated, the weight of his past evident in his eyes. I was once a guardian of this house, long before you were born. I lived here with my family, but tragedy struck, and I found myself bound to this place, unable to move on. Eliza's heart ached for him. I'm sorry, Gabriel. It must be so hard for you. He nodded, a wistful smile playing on his lips. It is, but I have found a new purpose in protecting you. The spirits that haunt this house are drawn to fear and despair. They seek to consume the living, to drag them into the darkness. Eliza shivered at his words. Why me? Why are they after me? Gabriel's gaze grew intense. You have a light within you, Eliza, a strength that they cannot tolerate. They see you as a threat, and they will stop at nothing to extinguish that light. But I will not let them harm you. Eliza felt a surge of determination. What can I do? How can I fight them? Gabriel reached out, his hand passing through hers. But she felt a faint warmth. You must be brave and believe in the strength you possess. Together, we can confront these spirits and banish them from this house. She nodded, resolve hardening in her chest. I believe in you, Gabriel, and I believe in myself. The bond between them grew stronger with each passing day. As Eliza learned to trust in Gabriel's guidance, she no longer felt the oppressive weight of loneliness for she had found a friend in the most unlikely of places. As Halloween approached, the air grew colder and the shadows deeper, but Eliza faced each night with newfound courage, knowing that Gabriel was by her side. As the days grew shorter and the shadows lengthened, Eliza found herself drawn more and more to the attic where Gabriel often appeared. It was a place filled with forgotten relics and dust-covered memories. But to Eliza, it became a sanctuary where she could speak freely with her ghostly friend. One evening, as the last rays of the sun painted the sky in hues of crimson and gold, Eliza climbed the creaking stairs to the attic. Gabriel was waiting for her, his form shimmering in the twilight. Gabriel, Eliza began, her voice a mixture of curiosity and hesitation. Can you tell me more about your past? How did you become a guardian spirit? Gabriel's eyes, pools of ancient sorrow, met hers. He seemed to gather his thoughts, and then he began his tale. Many years ago, this house was my family's pride. 
We lived here in peace. My parents, my sister and I. I was the eldest, tasked with the protection of my family. But one fateful night, a fire broke out, spreading with a ferocity that seemed almost otherworldly. Eliza listened, captivated by his words. What happened then? She asked softly. Gabriel's form flickered, as if the memory itself pained him. I tried to save them, but the flames were too strong. I managed to get my sister out, but my parents, they were lost to the fire. I perished as well in my attempt to rescue them. Since then, my spirit has been bound to this house, lingering in the shadows, watching over those who dwell here. Eliza's heart ached for him. I'm so sorry, Gabriel. You've been here all this time, alone? Gabriel nodded. Yes, until you came. Your presence awakened something within me, a sense of purpose. I vowed to protect you from the malevolent forces that haunt this place. Forces that are far older and more sinister than the fire that took my family. Eliza felt a shiver run down her spine. These spirits, what do they want? Gabriel's expression hardened. They crave the living essence, the light that humans carry within them. They are shadows, remnants of darkness that feed on fear and despair. They were drawn to this house by the tragedy that befell my family, and they have lingered ever since seeking to claim more souls. Eliza swallowed hard, her resolve firming. But we can fight them, right? We can stop them from hurting anyone else? Gabriel's eyes softened with a mixture of pride and concern. Yes, Eliza, with your courage and my guidance, we can stand against them, but you must be prepared for what lies ahead. The battle will not be easy. Eliza nodded, her jaw set with determination. I'm ready, Gabriel. Whatever it takes, I'll be brave. We'll face them together. As the attic grew darker with the setting sun, the bond between Eliza and Gabriel solidified. They were no longer just a frightened child and a lonely ghost. They were allies, bound by a shared purpose. The days ahead would be filled with trials and dangers, but Eliza knew she was no longer alone. With Gabriel by her side, she felt a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching darkness. The autumn nights grew longer, and the chill in the air deepened, wrapping the town in a spectral shroud. Eliza continued her nightly visits to the attic, where Gabriel awaited with his ever-watchful presence. The bond between them strengthened, and Eliza's fear was gradually replaced with a resolve to face the impending darkness. One night, as the wind howled outside and the house groaned under its ancient weight, Gabriel's demeanor turned somber. Eliza, he began, his voice a whisper of urgency. The time is drawing near. The spirits grow restless, 
and their power increases as Halloween approaches. Eliza, sitting cross-legged on an old trunk, looked up at him with wide eyes. What should we do, Gabriel? How can we prepare? Gabriel's translucent form flickered, casting an eerie glow in the dim light of the attic. We must fortify the house and strengthen your spirit. The malevolent entities will attempt to breach the barriers of this world on Halloween night. Their goal is to claim you, to extinguish the light within you. Eliza shivered, not from the cold, but from the gravity of his words. How can we stop them? Gabriel floated closer, his gaze intense and unwavering. First, we must protect your room, where you are most vulnerable. Salt, iron, and symbols of light will repel them. I will teach you the incantations to ward off their influence. Your courage and belief in your own strength are paramount. Without that, all other measures will fail. Together, they set to work. Under Gabriel's guidance, Eliza scattered salt along the windowsills and doorways creating barriers that no malevolent spirit could cross. She hung iron nails over her bed and placed candles around the room, their warm glow a beacon against the encroaching darkness. Gabriel taught her ancient incantations, words of power that resonated with the very essence of light. As they worked, Gabriel shared more of his knowledge. These spirits are cunning and relentless. They will try to deceive you, to break your will. You must remember that their power lies in your fear. Stand firm, and they cannot harm you. Eliza nodded committing his words to memory. I won't let them scare me. With you here, I feel braver than I ever have before. Gabriel's eyes softened, a hint of a smile playing on his lips. Your bravery is your greatest weapon, Eliza. Never forget that. The preparations continued late into the night, and by the time they were finished, Eliza's room had been transformed into a fortress of light and protection. Exhausted but determined, Eliza stood back to admire their work. Do you think this will be enough? she asked a note of uncertainty in her voice. Gabriel placed a spectral hand on her shoulder, the faint warmth of his touch, a reminder of his presence. It will be enough, because you are enough. Trust in yourself, Eliza. The spirits may be powerful, but your light is stronger. As the first light of dawn began to filter through the attic windows, Gabriel began to fade. Rest now, Eliza. Gather your strength. The night of Halloween will be our greatest challenge. Eliza watched as he disappeared, her heart filled with a mixture of anticipation and dread. She knew the battle ahead would test her in ways she had never imagined. But with Gabriel's guidance and her own newfound courage, 
she felt ready to face whatever darkness awaited. As Halloween drew nearer, the air grew thick with an unnatural chill. The house, once a haven of warmth and nostalgia, seemed to transform into a lair of creeping shadows and sinister whispers. Eliza could feel the change palpably, a constant prickling at the back of her neck, a sense of being watched by unseen eyes. The spirits grew bolder with each passing night. They slithered through the halls, their whispers a cacophony of malevolence. Objects moved on their own, doors slammed shut with resounding force, and cold gusts of wind seemed to emanate from nowhere. The once familiar creaks and groans of the old house now sounded like the tortured moans of the restless dead. Eliza, fortified by Gabriel's presence and their protective measures, faced these phenomena with the courage she had never known she possessed. Still, there were moments when fear threatened to overwhelm her. It was during these times that Gabriel's gentle voice provided a lifeline. Eliza, remember your strength, he would whisper, his form shimmering into view beside her. Do not let them see your fear. They thrive on it. One particularly dark and stormy night, the spirit's assault reached a fever pitch. Eliza was in her room, surrounded by the protective circle of salt and iron when the temperature plummeted. Her breath fogged in the air, and the candles flickered wildly, their flames dancing as if caught in a tempest. The whispers grew louder, filling the room with a cacophony of hissing voices. Eliza, come to us. Join us in the shadows. The words wrapped around her, insidious and tempting, trying to break through her defenses. Gabriel appeared beside her, his face set with grim determination. Do not listen to them, he urged, his voice cutting through the din. They are lies, shadows trying to lure you into their grasp. Eliza clenched her fists, her heart pounding in her chest. I'm not afraid of you, she shouted into the darkness, her voice trembling but resolute. You can't have me. The spirits responded with a furious howl, and a gust of icy wind extinguished the candles, plunging the room into darkness. Eliza felt a pressure against the protective barrier, a force trying to break through. She began to recite the incantations Gabriel had taught her, her voice steadying with each word. By the light that guides us, by the strength within, I banish you, spirits of darkness. You have no power here. The room seemed to vibrate with the force of her words, and the shadows recoiled, hissing in anger. Gabriel raised his hands, and a soft, glowing light emanated from him pushing back the encroaching darkness. Hold fast, Eliza, he said, his voice a beacon of hope. We are stronger together. 
the spirits lashed out one final time, their whispers turning to screams. With the combined force of Eliza's incantations and Gabriel's light proved too much. With the final defiant wail, they were driven back, retreating into the depths of the house. Exhausted but victorious, Eliza sank to her knees, the adrenaline ebbing from her body. Gabriel knelt beside her, his presence a comforting balm. You did well, Eliza. They will return, but each time they will find you stronger and more prepared. Eliza looked up at him, her eyes filled with determination. We'll fight them, Gabriel. Together, we'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. Gabriel smiled, a flicker of pride in his ethereal gaze. Yes, Eliza. Together, we will face whatever comes. As the days passed, the connection between Eliza and Gabriel grew stronger. Eliza no longer felt the oppressive weight of isolation, for she had found a true friend in Gabriel. Their shared purpose forged a bond that transcended the barriers between the living and the dead. One afternoon, as golden sunlight filtered through the attic windows, casting a warm glow over the dust motes, Eliza and Gabriel sat together, discussing their plan to combat the spirits. Gabriel's ethereal form seemed more solid in the daylight. His presence a comforting anchor in the face of the approaching darkness. Gabriel, Eliza began, her voice thoughtful. Do you think we'll ever be able to get rid of the spirits completely? Gabriel considered her question, his eyes reflecting the wisdom of ages. The spirits that haunt this house are ancient and powerful. Banishing them entirely may be beyond our reach, but we can weaken them, drive them back, and protect those who live here. Eliza nodded, her resolve unwavering. Then that's what we'll do. We'll make sure they can't hurt anyone else. Gabriel's gaze softened. You have a brave heart, Eliza. It's your courage that gives me hope. As they talked, a new sound reached Eliza's ears, a faint, melodic tune drifting through the air. She turned towards the attic door. Curiosity peaked. Do you hear that? Gabriel nodded, his expression puzzled. It's a music box. I haven't heard that melody in years. Following the sound, Eliza descended the stairs, Gabriel close behind her. The music led them to an old, forgotten chest in the corner of the parlor. With some effort, Eliza pried open the lid, revealing a trove of forgotten treasures. Old photographs, trinkets, and at the bottom, a delicate, ornate, music box. Eliza gently lifted the music box, its intricate design catching the light. As she turned the key, the melody grew louder, filling the room with its hauntingly beautiful tune. Gabriel's eyes widened in recognition. This belonged to my sister, he said softly. It was her favorite possession. 
Eliza felt a pang of sadness for Gabriel. Do you think... Do you think she's still here too? Gabriel shook his head. No, she moved on long ago. But this music box, it's a reminder of happier times before the darkness took hold. Eliza placed the music box on the mantel, its melody a soothing presence in the room. Maybe it's a sign, she said, a sign that we're not alone in this fight. Gabriel smiled, a rare expression of pure joy. Perhaps it is. With renewed determination, Eliza and Gabriel continued their preparations. They explored the house, identifying weak points where the spirits were most likely to breach. Gabriel taught Eliza how to create more potent protective charms using a combination of salt, iron, and light. Their bond deepened with each passing day. Eliza no longer feared the shadows, for she knew that Gabriel would always be there to guide and protect her. They shared stories of their lives, their hopes, and their dreams. Gabriel's tales of the past filled Eliza with a sense of wonder, while Eliza's dreams for the future gave Gabriel a renewed sense of purpose. As Halloween night approached, the house stood ready, fortified against the malevolent spirits. Eliza and Gabriel's friendship had transformed the once gloomy atmosphere into one of hope and resilience. Together, they faced the coming darkness, their spirits intertwined in a bond that could not be broken. Halloween night arrived, cloaked in a heavy shroud of darkness. The sky was overcast, blocking out the moon and stars, and a cold wind howled through the empty streets. Inside the old Victorian house, Eliza and Gabriel made their final preparations. The protective barriers were in place, the incantations memorized, and the house glowed with a faint, ethereal light that seemed to pulse with the rhythm of their combined courage. Eliza stood in her room, surveying the circle of salt and iron that surrounded her bed. Candles flickered in the corners, casting long shadows that danced on the walls. Gabriel appeared beside her, his expression both solemn and determined. Eliza, he began, his voice carrying the weight of the moment. Tonight will be the most difficult test we have faced. The spirits will be at their strongest, and they will stop at nothing to break through our defenses. Eliza met his gaze, her eyes filled with a steely resolve. I'm ready, Gabriel. We've done everything we can to prepare. I believe in us. Gabriel smiled a flicker of pride in his ethereal eyes. And I believe in you, Eliza. Remember, no matter what happens, you are not alone. I will be with you every step of the way. The first sign of the spirit's approach came as a sudden drop in temperature. The air grew frigid, and Eliza could see her breath 
misting in front of her. The candles flickered wildly, their flames struggling against an unseen force. The whispers began again, a cacophony of hissing voices that filled the room. Eliza, come to us. Join us in the shadows. Eliza took a deep breath, steadying her nerves. She began to recite the incantations Gabriel had taught her, her voice strong and unwavering. By the light that guides us, by the strength within, I banish you, spirits of darkness. You have no power here. The room vibrated with the force of her words, and the shadows seemed to recoil, hissing in anger. Gabriel raised his hands, and a soft, glowing light emanated from him, pushing back the encroaching darkness. Hold fast, Eliza, he said, his voice a beacon of hope. We are stronger together. The spirits lashed out, their whispers turning to screams. But Eliza stood firm. She could feel their malevolent presence pressing against the protective barrier. But she refused to let fear take hold. Gabriel's light grew brighter, enveloping the room in a warm, golden glow. The battle raged on, the spirits relentless in their assault. They slammed against the walls, shook the floorboards, and filled the air with their chilling cries. Eliza and Gabriel fought back with all their might, their combined strength a powerful force of light and courage. As the night wore on, the spirit's attacks grew weaker, their strength waning in the face of Eliza and Gabriel's unyielding resolve. Finally, with a last, desperate wail, the shadows retreated, fleeing into the depths of the house. The temperature began to rise and the room was filled with a peaceful silence. Eliza sank to her knees, exhaustion washing over her. Gabriel knelt beside her, his form flickering, but still present. We did it, Eliza. You were incredible. Eliza looked up at him, her eyes shining with gratitude. I couldn't have done it without you, Gabriel. Thank you for everything. Gabriel smiled, a warmth emanating from his ethereal form. It was my honor to protect you, Eliza. You have a strength within you that shines brighter than any light. Never forget that. As the first light of dawn began to filter through the windows, the house felt different. The oppressive weight of darkness had lifted, replaced by a sense of peace and tranquility. Eliza knew that the spirits would never be able to harm her again, and that Gabriel would always be by her side. With the battle won and their bond stronger than ever, Eliza and Gabriel faced the future with hope. The house, once filled with shadows and fear, had become a place of light and friendship. And as the sun rose on a new day, Eliza knew that she had found not only a guardian but a true friend in Gabriel. Halloween night descended upon the town, bringing with it an air of foreboding. The streets, 
usually bustling with children in costumes, were eerily quiet, as if the very essence of the night had been cloaked in darkness. Inside the old Victorian house, Eliza and Gabriel sensed the growing tension, a palpable anticipation of the battle to come. Eliza stood in the center of her room, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and determination. Gabriel floated beside her, his form glowing faintly in the dim light. The spirits are gathering, he said, his voice filled with urgency. They will be stronger tonight than ever before. We must be ready. Eliza nodded, stealing herself for the confrontation. I'm ready, Gabriel. We'll face them together. Outside, the wind howled, rattling the windows and causing the house to groan under the strain. Shadows crept along the walls, moving with an unnatural fluidity. The temperature plummeted, and the familiar whispers began, more insistent and menacing than ever. Eliza, come to us. Join us in the shadows. The spirits' voices filled the room, a cacophony of malevolence. Eliza felt a chill run down her spine, but she stood firm, her resolve unwavering. She began to recite the incantations Gabriel had taught her, her voice steady and strong. By the light that guides us, by the strength within, I banish you, spirits of darkness. You have no power here. Gabriel raised his hands, and a soft, glowing light emanated from him, pushing back the encroaching darkness. We must hold the line, Eliza. Do not let them break through. The spirits responded with a furious howl, and the house shook as if under siege. Objects flew off shelves, and the very air seemed to vibrate with the force of their rage. Eliza and Gabriel stood their ground, their combined strength a beacon of light against the encroaching shadows. Suddenly, a particularly strong gust of wind blew through the room extinguishing the candles and plunging them into darkness. Eliza's heart raced, but she took a deep breath, focusing on the warmth of Gabriel's presence beside her. Stay close to me, Gabriel said, his voice a steady anchor in the chaos. We can do this, Eliza, together. We are stronger than they are. Eliza nodded, her fear giving way to a fierce determination. She reached out, her hand finding Gabriel's, and felt a surge of strength flow through her. The room began to glow once more, the light emanating from their joined hands, pushing back the shadows. The spirits lashed out, their whispers turning to screams of frustration. They battered against the protective barriers, but Eliza and Gabriel held firm. The house shook with the force of their assault, but the light remained strong, repelling the darkness. As the battle raged on, Eliza felt a shift in the air, a sense of the spirit's power waning. The 
the light from their hands grew brighter, filling the room with a warm, golden glow. The whispers faded, replaced by a profound silence. The spirits had retreated, their strength broken by the combined force of Eliza and Gabriel's courage. The house, once filled with shadows and fear, now felt lighter, as if a great weight had been lifted. Eliza looked up at Gabriel, her eyes shining with gratitude. We did it, Gabriel. We drove them back. Gabriel smiled, his form shimmering with pride. You are incredible, Eliza. Your strength and bravery are what made this possible. Eliza felt a surge of hope. We can protect this house, Gabriel. We can keep the spirits from hurting anyone ever again. Gabriel nodded, his eyes filled with warmth. Yes, Eliza. Together, we can ensure that this place remains a haven of light and peace. The battle on Halloween night marked only the beginning. The spirits had been repelled, but their threat loomed ever closer, a persistent shadow over Eliza's home. In the days that followed, Gabriel intensified his training, preparing Eliza for the inevitable final confrontation. Each day after school, Eliza would hurry to the attic where Gabriel awaited. The attic, once a repository of forgotten memories, had transformed into a training ground where she honed her newfound abilities. Gabriel taught her the art of channeling her inner light, a force that could repel darkness and protect the living. Focus on your breath, Eliza, Gabriel instructed one crisp autumn afternoon. The light within you is tied to your life force. Breathe deeply and visualize that light expanding, filling every part of you. Eliza closed her eyes, inhaling slowly. She imagined a warm, golden light emanating from her chest, spreading through her limbs and radiating outwards. As she practiced, she could feel a subtle warmth coursing through her, a reassuring presence that bolstered her courage. Good, Gabriel said, his voice a gentle guide. Now, let's practice summoning that light to your hands. It's your most direct way of fending off the spirits. Eliza extended her hands, palms up, and focused on channeling the light to her fingertips. At first, the light was faint, a barely perceptible glow. But with Gabriel's guidance, it grew stronger, a soft but steady radiance that illuminated the attic. Gabriel smiled, pride evident in his ethereal eyes. You're doing well, Eliza. Remember, the light is a part of you. It will always be there when you need it. The training sessions continued, each day bringing new challenges and skills to master. Gabriel showed Eliza how to craft protective charms using common household items, salt, iron, and candles. They created symbols of light and protection, 
hanging them throughout the house to bolster the existing defenses. One evening, as they prepared a particularly potent charm, Eliza voiced a question that had been lingering in her mind. Gabriel, why are the spirits so drawn to this house? Is it because of what happened to your family? Gabriel's expression grew somber. Partly, yes. The tragedy that befell my family created a rift, a point of entry for the malevolent entities. But there's more to it. This house stands on a ley line, a convergence of natural energies. It's a place of power, and the spirits are drawn to it, like moths to a flame. Eliza absorbed this information, her resolve hardening. Then we have to protect it even more. We can't let them take over. Gabriel nodded, his gaze filled with determination. Exactly. And with your strength and the light within you, we have a chance to keep them at bay. As Halloween approached once more, Eliza felt a profound sense of readiness. The nights grew colder and the shadows deeper but she no longer feared the darkness. With Gabriel's training and her own growing abilities, she felt equipped to face whatever came their way. Their bond had grown stronger, forged in the fires of shared purpose and mutual trust. Gabriel had become more than a guardian he was a mentor, a friend, and a guiding light in the darkest of times. Eliza knew that together they could withstand the rising tide of darkness and protect the sanctity of her home. On the eve of Halloween, as the final preparations were made, Gabriel spoke words of encouragement that resonated deep within Eliza's heart. Remember, Eliza, the light within you is your greatest weapon. It cannot be extinguished as long as you believe in yourself. No matter how dark the night, the dawn will always come. Eliza nodded, her heart filled with determination. I won't let you down, Gabriel. We'll face this together, and we'll win. Halloween night descended upon the house with a palpable tension, an electric charge that set the air humming. The old Victorian house, fortified with symbols of protection and glowing with the light of countless candles, stood ready. Inside, Eliza and Gabriel prepared for the inevitable assault. As the clock struck midnight, the first signs of the spirit's approach became evident. A frigid wind swept through the house, extinguishing several candles and sending shadows skittering along the walls. The temperature plummeted and the whispers returned, a haunting chorus that filled every corner of the house. Eliza, come to us. Join us in the shadows. Eliza stood in the center of the living room, her heart pounding, but her resolve firm. Gabriel floated beside her, his form glowing with a fierce light. Stay strong, Eliza. Remember your training. Focus on the light within you. The house groaned 
under the strain of the spirit's assault. Walls creaked, floors shuddered, and the very air seemed to vibrate with their malevolent energy. Eliza began to recite the incantations Gabriel had taught her. Her voice was steady and clear, despite the chaos around her. By the light that guides us, by the strength within, I banish you, spirits of darkness. You have no power here. The room responded to her words. The light from the candles flaring brighter and pushing back the shadows. Gabriel raised his hands, adding his own energy to the protective barrier. Together, they formed a formidable defense. Their combined strength, a beacon against the darkness. The spirits, undeterred, launched a full-scale attack. They battered against the walls, slammed doors shut with resounding force, and filled the air with their chilling cries. The house, once a haven of light, was transformed into a battleground of shadows and flickering flames. Eliza felt a pressure against the protective circle, a force trying to break through. She focused on the light within her, drawing on the warmth and strength that Gabriel had helped her cultivate. We won't let you in, she declared, her voice echoing with defiance. You cannot take this house. The spirits howled in frustration, their whispers turning to screams. The pressure intensified, but Eliza held firm, her light unwavering. Gabriel's presence beside her was a constant source of strength. His ethereal glow bolstering her courage. Remember Eliza, Gabriel said, his voice calm and reassuring. The light within you is stronger than their darkness. Do not let fear take hold. Eliza nodded, drawing on the bond they had forged. She extended her hands, summoning the light to her fingertips. The room filled with a warm, golden glow, pushing back the encroaching shadows. The spirits recoiled, hissing in anger and pain. The battle raged on, the house groaning and creaking under the strain. Eliza and Gabriel fought valiantly. Their combined strength a powerful force that repelled the spirit's attacks. The light from their joined efforts grew brighter, filling the house with a comforting warmth. Finally, after what felt like hours, the spirits began to weaken. Their attacks grew less coordinated their whispers fading into the background. The pressure against the protective barriers lessened, and the house seemed to sigh with relief. Exhausted but triumphant, Eliza looked up at Gabriel, her eyes shining with gratitude and determination. We did it, Gabriel. We held them off. Gabriel smiled, his form shimmering with pride. You were incredible, Eliza. Your strength and courage are what made this possible. Eliza felt a surge of hope. We can protect this house, Gabriel. We can keep the spirits from ever hurting anyone again. Gabriel nodded, his eyes filled with warmth. Yes, Eliza. 
together, we can ensure that this place remains a haven of light and peace. As the first light of dawn began to filter through the windows, the house felt different. The oppressive weight of darkness had lifted, replaced by a sense of peace and tranquility. Eliza knew that the battle was not yet over, but with Gabriel by her side, she felt ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With the first light of dawn, the spirit's assault abated and a fragile calm settled over the house. But Eliza and Gabriel knew this was only a respite. The true battle, the final confrontation with the leader of the malevolent spirits, still loomed ahead. As the day waned and the shadows lengthened once more, a tense silence fell upon the house. The air was thick with anticipation, a tangible sense of foreboding. Eliza and Gabriel gathered their strength, preparing for the inevitable clash. Eliza stood in the living room, her hands trembling slightly as she clutched an iron nail, one of the protective charms Gabriel had taught her to use. Gabriel floated beside her, his form glowing softly, a beacon of hope in the gathering darkness. They will come soon, Gabriel said, his voice steady but grave. Their leader is a powerful entity, born of the deepest shadows. You must remember everything I've taught you, Eliza. Believe in your light, and it will guide you. Eliza nodded her heart pounding with a mix of fear and determination. I'm ready, Gabriel. We'll face this together. As if on cue, the temperature in the room plummeted, and the familiar whispers began to fill the air. But this time, there was a new voice among them, a deep, resonant tone that sent shivers down Eliza's spine. Eliza, come to us. Join us in the shadows. The leader of the spirits materialized before them, a towering figure cloaked in darkness. Its eyes glowed with a malevolent light, and its presence seemed to suck the warmth from the room. Eliza felt an icy chill grip her heart, but she stood her ground, focusing on the light within her. Gabriel moved to stand between Eliza and the dark entity, his form shimmering with a fierce, protective light. You will not have her, he declared, his voice ringing with authority. This house is protected, and she is under my guardianship. The spirit leader laughed, a cold, hollow sound that echoed through the room. You cannot stop me, Gabriel. Your light is but a flicker against the darkness, and the girl, her soul, will be mine. Eliza felt a surge of anger at the spirit's words. Summoning all her courage, she stepped forward, her hands glowing with the light she had learned to harness. I won't let you take me, she said, her voice strong and unwavering. I believe in my light, and I believe in Gabriel. You have no power here. The spirit leader hissed in fury, 
and launched itself at them. A wave of darkness crashing against the protective barrier. Eliza and Gabriel stood side by side, their combined light pushing back the shadows. The room filled with the blinding radiance, and the air hummed with the force of their will. The battle was fierce, a clash of light and dark that shook the very foundations of the house. The spirit leader's attacks were relentless, but Eliza and Gabriel fought back with equal fervor. Eliza recited the incantations, her voice steady and clear, while Gabriel channeled his ethereal energy into a shield of light, by the light that guides us, by the strength within, I banish you, spirit of darkness. You have no power here, Eliza chanted, her voice rising above the din. The spirit leader shrieked in fury, its form flickering and weakening under the assault. Eliza could see the strain in Gabriel's face, but his resolve never wavered. Together, they pressed their advantage, driving the spirit back inch by inch. In a final, desperate move, the spirit leader lunged at Eliza, its eyes burning with a malevolent fire. But Eliza stood her ground, her light blazing with a newfound intensity. She reached out, her hands glowing with the combined strength of her and Gabriel's bond. Leave this place, she commanded, her voice ringing with authority. You have no power here. With a last defiant scream, the spirit leader disintegrated into a cloud of shadows, dissipating into the ether. The room fell silent, the oppressive weight of darkness lifted. Eliza and Gabriel stood victorious, their light banishing the last remnants of the malevolent force. Breathing heavily, Eliza turned to Gabriel, her eyes shining with gratitude and relief. We did it, Gabriel. We really did it. Gabriel smiled, his form flickering but steady. Yes, Eliza, your light was the key. Together, we have protected this house and ensured the spirits can never return. As the first rays of dawn broke through the windows, the house felt different, lighter, free of the shadows that had once haunted it. Eliza knew the battle was over, and they had won. The remnants of the dark entity had been banished, but Eliza knew the battle's scars would take time to heal. She looked around the living room, now bathed in the soft glow of dawn. The house, which had once been a battlefield, now felt peaceful. The oppressive weight of darkness had lifted, leaving behind a tranquil serenity. Gabriel hovered beside her, his form shimmering with a gentle light. You were incredible, Eliza, he said, his voice filled with admiration. Your courage and the strength of your light drove the darkness away. Eliza smiled, feeling a warmth spread through her. I couldn't have done it without you, Gabriel. 
You taught me everything I needed to know and you stood by me when I needed you the most. Gabriel's eyes glowed with pride. Our friendship gave us the strength to overcome the darkness. Together, we were unstoppable. As they spoke, Eliza felt a shift in the air, a subtle but profound change. The house seemed to hum with a newfound energy, a sense of renewal and hope. She knew that the spirits had been driven away their malevolence banished by the light they had created together. Gabriel, Eliza began, her voice tinged with both sadness and gratitude. What happens now? Will you stay with me? Gabriel's expression softened, a bittersweet smile playing on his lips. Eliza, my mission here is complete. The spirits have been banished, and the house is safe once more. It's time for me to move on. Eliza's heart ached at the thought of losing her friend. But I'll miss you, Gabriel. You've become such an important part of my life. Gabriel reached out his hand passing through hers, but leaving a faint warmth in its wake. I will always be with you, Eliza. The bond we've created will never be broken. Whenever you need me, just remember the light within you. It will guide you, just as it guided us through the darkness. Eliza nodded, tears glistening in her eyes. Thank you, Gabriel, for everything. I promise I'll never forget what you've taught me. Gabriel's form began to fade, his light growing fainter. Be strong, Eliza. Live your life with the courage and kindness that you've shown. You are a beacon of light in this world, and nothing can extinguish that. With those final words, Gabriel disappeared, leaving behind a lingering warmth that filled Eliza's heart. She stood alone in the living room, the first rays of sunlight streaming through the windows. The house was quiet, the echoes of the battle, a distant memory. Eliza took a deep breath, feeling a profound sense of peace. She knew that Gabriel's spirit would always be with her, a guardian watching over her from beyond the veil. And though he was gone, his presence would remain in the light she carried within her. As the day unfolded, Eliza went about her usual routines, but with a renewed sense of purpose. The house, once haunted by shadows, now felt like a sanctuary. The protective charms and symbols of light remained in place, a testament to the battle they had fought and won. Eliza's parents, unaware of the supernatural events that had transpired, remarked on how the house seemed brighter and more welcoming. Eliza smiled, knowing the truth of what had occurred, and the silent guardian who continued to watch over them. That night, as she prepared for bed, Eliza felt a comforting presence in her room. The music box, now a cherished keepsake, played its hauntingly beautiful tune. She closed her eyes, letting the melody lull her 
into a peaceful sleep, knowing that she was safe and protected. As Halloween night turned into dawn, peace had indeed returned to Eliza's home. The malevolent spirits were gone, and Eliza felt a newfound sense of courage. She slept soundly for the first time in weeks, knowing she had a guardian angel watching over her from beyond the veil. The days following the battle were filled with an unusual calm. The house, once a battleground, now exuded an aura of peace. Eliza felt the absence of the malevolent spirits keenly, their oppressive presence replaced by a serene tranquility. But she also felt the looming departure of Gabriel, her steadfast guardian and friend. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and bathed the sky in hues of orange and pink, Eliza found herself in the attic, where Gabriel often lingered. The attic had become a place of comfort and reflection, filled with the remnants of their shared struggle and the memories they had forged together. Gabriel appeared beside her, his form more luminous than ever, as if preparing for a final transformation. Eliza, he began, his voice soft and filled with a mix of pride and sorrow. The time has come for me to move on. The house is safe, and you are strong enough to protect it. Eliza felt a lump form in her throat. Gabriel, I don't want you to go. You've become such an important part of my life. I can't imagine being here without you. Gabriel's eyes glowed with a gentle light. I know, Eliza, but my purpose was to protect you and help you find your own strength. You have done that, and more. The bond we share will never be broken, and I will always be with you in spirit. Tears welled up in Eliza's eyes. But what if the spirits come back? What if I can't handle it on my own? Gabriel reached out, his hand hovering near hers, and she felt a warm, comforting presence. You are never truly alone, Eliza. The light within you is a part of me, and it will guide you through any darkness. Remember the lessons we learned together. Trust in your strength, and know that I am always watching over you. Eliza nodded, wiping away her tears. I'll miss you, Gabriel. Thank you for everything. Gabriel's form began to shimmer and fade, his light growing brighter before it started to dissolve into the ether. Goodbye, Eliza. Live your life with the courage and kindness that you have shown. You are a beacon of light in this world. With those final words, Gabriel disappeared, leaving behind a lingering warmth that filled Eliza's heart. She stood alone in the attic, the soft glow of twilight filtering through the windows. The house felt different, lighter, and more vibrant, as if the very walls held the memory of Gabriel's presence. 
Eliza took a deep breath, feeling a profound sense of peace. She knew that Gabriel's spirit would always be with her, a guardian watching over her from beyond the veil. And though he was gone, his presence would remain in the light she carried within her. As the days turned into weeks, Eliza adjusted to life without Gabriel's physical presence. She continued to honor his memory by maintaining the protective charms and symbols of light they had created together. Her parents, still unaware of the supernatural events that had transpired, remarked on how the house seemed brighter and more welcoming. Eliza smiled, knowing the truth of what had occurred, and the silent guardian who continued to watch over them. She felt a renewed sense of purpose, a determination to live her life with the courage and kindness that Gabriel had admired in her. That night, as she prepared for bed, Eliza felt a comforting presence in her room. The music box, now a cherished keepsake, played its hauntingly beautiful tune. She closed her eyes, letting the melody lull her into a peaceful sleep, knowing that she was safe and protected. With Gabriel's departure, Eliza had found a new strength within herself. She knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, she would face them with the same courage and resilience that had carried her through the darkest of nights. And in her heart, she would always carry the light of her guardian angel as the final rays of Halloween sunset gave way to the deepening twilight, a serene calm settled over Eliza's home. The house, once a place of shadows and whispers, now stood as a beacon of light and peace. The oppressive presence of the malevolent spirits had been banished leaving behind an atmosphere of tranquility. Eliza sat on her bed, the soft glow of the music box casting a warm light across her room. The hauntingly beautiful melody filled the air, a comforting reminder of Gabriel's enduring presence. She looked around her room, feeling a profound sense of peace and safety. For the first time in weeks, Eliza felt no fear as the darkness of night enveloped the house. She knew that the malevolent spirits were gone, their power broken by the combined strength of her and Gabriel's light. The protective charms and symbols they had crafted together remained in place. Silent guardians that fortified the home against any future threats. Eliza's parents, unaware of the supernatural battle that had taken place, commented on how different the house felt. It's like a weight has been lifted, her mother remarked her voice filled with wonder. The house feels so much warmer and more welcoming. Eliza smiled, a knowing glint in her eyes. I think it's because we've made it a place of light and love, she said, her heart swelling with pride and gratitude. That night, as Eliza prepared for bed, she felt a comforting presence beside her. 
though Gabriel was no longer physically present. His spirit seemed to linger, a reassuring warmth that filled her heart. She knew that he would always be with her, watching over her from beyond the veil. As she lay down, Eliza closed her eyes and let the soothing melody of the music box lull her into a peaceful sleep. Her dreams were filled with light and warmth, memories of Gabriel's guidance and the strength she had discovered within herself. The night passed without incident, the house bathed in the gentle glow of the moonlight. Eliza slept soundly, her mind and heart at ease. She knew that she had the courage and strength to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The next morning, Eliza woke to the sound of birds singing outside her window. The sun was shining brightly, casting a golden light over her room. She stretched and yawned, feeling refreshed and ready to embrace the new day. As she got ready, Eliza reflected on the journey she had undertaken. She had faced her fears, confronted the darkness, and emerged stronger and more resilient. She had forged a bond with Gabriel that transcended the boundaries of life and death, and she had discovered a light within herself that could never be extinguished. Eliza knew that the future held many unknowns, but she was confident that she could face them with the same courage and determination that had carried her through the darkest nights. She would honor Gabriel's memory by living her life with kindness, bravery, and an unwavering belief in the power of light. Stepping out of her room, Eliza joined her parents for breakfast. They chatted about their plans for the day, the warmth and love of their family filling the room. Eliza felt a deep sense of gratitude for the peace that had returned to their home and for the guardian angel who had made it possible. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Eliza carried the lessons she had learned with her. She faced each day with a renewed sense of purpose, knowing that she had the strength to overcome any obstacle and in moments of quiet reflection, she would often feel a gentle presence by her side, a reminder that Gabriel's spirit was always with her. The house, once haunted by shadows, had become a sanctuary of light and love. And Eliza, guided by the enduring bond she shared with Gabriel, lived her life with a courage and kindness that touched the hearts of all who knew her. In the end, it was not just the battle against the spirits that defined her journey, but the strength and friendship she had discovered along the way. And as she grew, Eliza knew that she would always be a beacon of light, a testament to the power of friendship and the enduring presence of her ghostly guardian.